Hey guys, Angel here today. We're going to do some angels learning and education. And guess what today's topic is? Well, I mean, if you looked over here, you guessed it. It's proof sets. And we'll get into that in just a moment. All right, guys. So the U.S. proof set. They had the pre-war proof sets. It went from 1936 to 42. And then they came out with the post-war proof sets, which was 1950 to 1964. Well, I don't have any pre-war proof sets because those ones are with the Walker half dollars in it. But this is what they looked like. So the very first proof sets from the United States, they came in this little box. Of course, I must have the box wrong. But it, the box was sealed with this, like, tape here. And they just, like, stamped it. And then you go inside the box, and it was, like, wrapped up like a little present. So basically, it was wrapped up in this stuff. And people never got them back together the right way. And then they came... In plastic like this except for not like this because obviously I feel like the people put it in like a new new plastic container so this isn't exactly original but it's what it looked like but the papers that they came in like this they were stapled together like this except for they were made out of a plastic that was way more brittle so a lot of these proof sets the plastic would get like so brittle that it would actually just like crumble. So there's probably not a whole lot of original. A lot of people put them back in here. And then it makes me question, is this actually even like an original from the box? Because this was the transition year where they transitioned. Where's my 55? Where they transitioned to this. And the ones like this are substantially, they cost substantially less money. So hopefully somebody didn't get one like this and like cut these out and then put them in this plastic baggies and then roll it up and just like, I don't know, they do sell these boxes. So literally they could, they could have just bought this box, this paper, cut one of these out and put it in these little baggies because these aren't original baggies. Even though it's the same concept. And charge me like five times more. Because I'm pretty sure it costs five times more to get it in this original little box with the original crispy papers. Because see the original crispy papers were kind of crispy like this. Except they were just like stapled and folded. So you'd see rusty foldage. And like even some of these you know. If stored wrong. They would um. Get, they get crunchy man. They crunch right out. So yeah, that's the transitional year from when they went to the box to the flat pack. And as you can see, here's another flat pack. They came in flat packs and they came in these like envelopes. Uh, this one just got some kind of padding in it. And then of course in 1964... It's still the same packaging and everything, except for it's got the Kennedy. Oh, and also I wanted to show you, like, if you get a set like this, this is not original. A lot of people, because the sets would get crunchy, they'd buy these um, capital holder plastic things and put and put their coins in here. So they wouldn't get further damaged. But yeah, this is not an original set. So don't pay the big bucks just because it's in this thing. You had to find an original one of these in like original one of these. If it had the original stuff like this, those things go for like two, three hundred bucks. And I just don't want to pay that at the moment. But I wanted to get one so I could like show you how they came. After 64, they skipped 65, 66, and 67. Because the only way you could get any coins in those in those years was 
a special mint set. So they didn't make no proof set. But then in 68, they started with these like blue boxes here. And it's kind of weird how they open. Just like open, stick up here. And so 68, 69, and 70 come in these like blue boxes. And they all got a 40% Kennedy half dollar. And then they came out with this. Where is it? United States Silver Proof Set. Where they had the black boxes like this. So in 1992, well, 76, they had a three piece set that was silver, but I don't have one at the moment. But in 92, they actually came out with silver, silver proof sets again. And these are 90% silver. And they came in the black box. Also in 92, they came out with these premiere sets so they have a premiere set and i believe that's 92 to 98 92 to 98 is when they came out with these silver premiere sets comes like this little certificate probably has the like composition on the back here of all the coins and who they were designed by and then they came in this nifty velvety Velvety box. And it's almost it's almost like, you know, the same thing as like the proof eagles and stuff used to come into because the mint has been getting pretty, pretty chintzy on it. But you could like set it up and display it. So that was kind of cool. You could like display it on your desk or whatever. But it came in this. And it's like kind of like spring loaded. And then it has a, like a little snap there, which it don't snap down half the time. But hey, I got it snapped the first time. And of course, they have the, like the little directions, man. It tells you how to display it. Oh, they're actually pulling it out. But yeah, I don't want to take a chance of pulling that out. But I just thought I'd show you. It's kind of cool. It's got like a little embossed metal. And then we're gonna go just like over the years, I guess. I'm going to like show you like the 76 came in black boxes like this and they're kind of a pain because like they fold up under here but when the set's in there it's kind of tight so you end up ruining the boxes half the time but that's the way it came and then it came in these holders like this it's like a plastic holder where here you can see the back but then this thing it gets kind of stuck over the time and it's like this i don't know why they did that they probably did that so you could like kind of set it up and display it you know see how it's set up like that but the only thing that sucks about this is this like little plastic hinge if you open your proof set too much and you want to look at it you know it gets a little stuck and then sometimes you break it so you know that kind of bites it bites when you when you break it and I was just showing you that because, like, that's when they started, like, doing the Eisenhower's. Putting Eisenhower's in here. And then they switched to these when they ended up putting... Yeah, these are a pain in the rear to get out, too. It shows you. Oh, look, you can get it out. I guess they just wanted people to display their sets. But it came in this. And you, like, pull it out. So you can look at the other side. But over the time, sometimes they get stuck in there so then you can't get it out but like see they're showing you to remove pull out okay i did that i pulled it out and if you want to display it let's see let's say if i'm putting it oh like i don't know actually i think there's all right there's like a groove here so you can like Popping in this groove. Yeah, easier said than done. Okay, it's in there. All right. Now it's displayed. Now you can display your proof set. I never really knew that. And I just thought, why do they have it in here? Why do you have to pull it out to see the back? But I guess if you want to display it, you can. So, obviously, at that time, people were like, we want to display our stuff. So, make some cool stuff where we can display it. 
you know, display it. Flip it over. Display, display, display. All right. And then we jump to 83, and they put them in these blue boxes. So they like color coded the stuff. So here's 83. They jumped from 83, and they put them in the blue box. I'm blue. All right, and then you gotta uh, you gotta fold it, which ends up getting it bent. So it's almost like unless you just take this and pack it away, the boxes they get kind of funky. And then in '84 they switched over to the purple box or burgundy or I don't know. It looks purple to me, but here we go. Yeah, look. Uh, see, most of them got like a bend there, to because you like gotta pull it out. So here's the 84 set. And pretty much, you know, you get a penny, a nickel, a dime, a quarter and a half. That's pretty much what all these sets are. And then for some reason, 83, they decided to go back to the blue box. So now it's a blue box. Or <laughs> I probably already showed that. Doot, doot, doot. 94, they decided to go to a green box. So 94, and it's the same thing, you know. The penny, nickel, dime, quarter, and they come with these, like, little things. Specifications, if you're into all that specification stuff. So from, so from 94... Through 98, they stayed green. They stayed in the green boxes. And then 99, they decided to turn over to... Of course, I don't have the 99 here. But they turned over to these blue boxes. They got blue boxes in the 99s. And that's when they came out with the state quarters. So in 99, they came out with the state quarters. They give you this little card has all the informational stuff and then they came with the two pieces you know here's the state quarters and then you get penny nickel dime half and then you get the native american but i think at this time they were still calling them sacagawea dollars i don't know let's see let's see let's see what they called it yep see at this point they still called it the Sac Sacagawea. So at that point, they still called it the Sac Sacagawea dollar. So the clad ones were in blue. And the silver ones, they put in red. So you could determine instead of having to like read it. But of course, it says silver proof set. But so here's the silver ones. And they're pretty much exactly the same, except for everything's in red. And the information card's in red. Just like the information card was in blue in the other one. Oh, and I forgot. I forgot the prestige sets. The prestige sets were from 83 till 97. So, of course, you know, it's very prestigious to have this box. And then they got the velvety. And these ones all came in different colors. And you got this big old giant... Telling you the artist. Giant certificate. I mean, yeah, this is like literally a, a certificate, man. Does it, did it make you feel prestigious to have like this official looking document thing? And then, huh. A lot of people, I guess a lot of people probably, uh, Oh, and then there's these cardboards that's supposed to go in there to, like, protect them. A lot of people would slide their certificate right there. And so for these years, there's going to be a different commemorative. And then you flip it over, and there's the back. But when you flip it over, you got to flip it over like this. 
So if you if you want to see it upright, if you don't want to see it upright, then you can just leave it like that. And you can just like turn yourself upside down, look at it upside down. You know, that could be fun. And I'm pretty sure the commemorative dollars are silver. Where is it at? Half dollar making you holler. Yeah, so right here, the commemorative dollars were 90%. And there's like the Troy ounces and all the, like the grams for you people that are like number crunchers and like to figure out like the percentage. But I mean, this sticks out. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to store it that way. But it still wasn't stored right because you're supposed to put this here to protect, to kind of protect it. I mean, is it me? Or does this look kind of like it has a green tint to it? I don't know. Maybe. So you put it in like this. Just to protect it. And it goes back in the in the box, man. The U.S. Mint used to be all about, like, boxes and presentations. I don't know what happened to them now. And where am I going? All right. In 2007... The, the silver and the clad proof sets ended up coming in this like sleeve and then it came out came with the two boxes because they added the presidentials so it says seven silver proof coins 10 of 14 proof coins so the presidential dollars they stuck them in their own separate box So there we go on the presidents. So, all right, put that one back in there. And then of course this is red, so you know it's the silver ones. It says silver. So the silver ones came with the State quarters, of course. So, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like they said in the package, seven of these are silver. So you get seven 90% silver coins in these packages. It's a whole lot of putting packages back together. All right. Well, let's put the sleeve on. And that goes back there. The other one's the same. It's just, it's not silver. So, of course, you can see it's blue. It's blue. All right. And then in 2010, it was still red. And I'm pretty sure in 2013, they switched over to this cool-looking de design. Yeah, see, this is just plain old red box. And, of course... The non-silver ones came in a blue box, looked just like this, but then they changed it, and then they gave you, like, some pretty pictures, pretty pictures to look at. Let's see what's it. So this is, like, all three. They decided in 2000, 2007 was the only year that they did it where they separated them. So now it comes with just all three, all three pieces. And they came with the, let's see if they're still called Sequagia Dollars. Seca, well, I know I'm probably not pronouncing it right, but yeah, see, they're still considered Sequagia Dollars in 2010. I can't remember what year they switched them over and started calling them Native American Dollars. Ah, all right, let's put all those back in there. And of course, this is going to be the same. 2013, it just got a different color box. And then 2021, they quit doing, I don't know what year they quit doing the presidential dollars. But I think that whenever they changed the back, when they changed the back, actually, this is a pretty cool back. Whenever they started changing the back on the Sequoia dollars, they started calling them Native American dollars. And then they had... Had stuff on the back. 
And these were the last two America the Beautiful quarters. Because they switched over to America the Beautiful quarters. And obviously the presidential dollars ended. So I'll have to look and see what year that that happened. But oh. Yeah, let's see. Let's look on the card. No, it still says Sacagawea. Well, then why did people start calling them Native American dollars? I don't know. But the Mint, they didn't quit calling them that. Just people did. And then in 2012, they decided to come out with the limited edition silver proof sets. So it comes with a sleeve and then a box, piece of paper, smudges, blah, 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 soft dried cloth tissue. And let's see. And they came out like this. So here's like the information and it's just all silver proofs and whoa, these ones got some cool tonage going on there. But they originally, in 2013, I mean 2012, they came in these hard plastic cases, which I thought that was pretty cool that they came in these hard plastic cases. But maybe these hard plastic cases, because silver like absorbs the stuff for some reason, these ones start getting toned. But then, I'm going to show you. Of course, the mint decided to get cheap again. Like, when do they not decide to get cheap? They're starting to get super cheap, super cheap, super cheapy. All right. You're like, but it looks the same, Angel. And I'm like, yeah, it does look the same. Until you open up the box. And then what's this? Now they give you this cheap little flimsy cardboard. The... The pieces fell out, so all your pieces are like this. So, I mean, literally, I guess if you one of your coins gets funky or whatever, you could just pop it out of here and switch out the coins. So, you know, then you don't then you don't know. Like if somebody just wanted to put this set together themselves, I guess they could because you can just pop them out. Or you can, like, trade them. So maybe people will, like, pick out the best coins and then switch them around. And then, like, get rid of the, the sets that don't have, like, the super good coins. But, like, yeah, they don't they don't stay in there very good. Because, let's see. Ah! Good job! Good job, Angel. <laughs> so which way do they go yeah see that's not cool I was buying these for myself but then I decided you know what I don't really want to buy them because I don't like how it got cheap because I mean look at the difference nice hard safe not so safe cheap cardboard all right. Well, I know I've kept you guys here for a very long time. Hopefully, you guys made it through. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Hopefully, you made it through till the end. So, if you guys like like something like this, if you if you guys like videos like this, please give me a likey likey. And if you have something to add or something to say that maybe I missed, please give us a little comment below. And until next time... I will see you out there. This concludes Angel's learning and education. So, bye bye.